Goss. The jumper is good, and that's a good sign for Gonzaga. As we mentioned, Williams Goss held to just nine points against South Dakota State. Williams Goss quickly up ahead. Chris Collins called Williams Goss a one-man fast break. Karnowski down low, blocked by Pardon. McIntosh one on one, two to hoop for two. Thursday. McIntosh shot is blocked by Perkins. Williams Goss wants to run the fast break. Matthews ahead of the pack for three. It's good. It's a rare path to the basket. But quickly the other way, Matthews answers. How about offensively for Northwestern, Steve? Do you keep shooting threes? They're 0 for 9. The problem is, Andrew, there's a reason why they're getting so many threes, because they can't get in the lane. More first-half points today than they did Thursday against South Dakota State. That's a good-looking play for Northwestern with Lumpkin laying it in. It's a generous 5-9 you just right, gave come yourself. On. A steal by Williams Goss, all alone for the flush. And Chris Collins calls timeout. He took the right shoulder away, and he went the other way. Countered in the foul for Northwestern. Throws the double. And gets rid of it with four on the shot clock to Matthews. A three. Just one for Northwestern. McIntosh over to Law for three, and he drains another. That's the fourth three for Vic Law. Gonzaga led by as many as 22. McIntosh for three. No good. Law is there. And we got a ball game. Vic Law. Yeah, no box out here. Pardon dives, and nobody gets Law from the wing that time. And he just comes flying in. A long time. They've been trying to get Williams Goss in there, but not their big guys. Matthews inside. Lays it in. Matthews has 13. Five seconds left. There's Lindsay for three. It's good. Set up the pressure. You got a foul immediately. Five point lead, 19 seconds left. And you can't be picky. And we have a foul before the inbound on McIntosh. His bench. A terrific, historic season for Northwestern. But it's Gonzaga on to the Sweet 16 for the third straight year. And for Mark Few, that is his 500th career victory.